uh, today's vlog, actually quite a good one. It was pushing into the uh, 200s for 10, so I'm in 200 by 10. And 115 by 5, snatched from the floor. Uh, hamstring is still a little bit weird. Uh, it's getting it's a lot better. It's only been like uh, 12 days at this stage, so not too bad. Uh, I could feel it a little bit on the snatches by the fifth rep. Not at all on the squats, luckily. So I haven't done a whole lot of full clean jerks yet. Just one or a few reps at uh, 100 kilos. And I can do some hang cleans and stuff. So it's not too bad. But just anything on the floor. Anything with the knee passage. And going past my knee. It is a little bit. Um, a little bit kind of achy. I can feel it pulling a little bit. So no rush with this. As I'm in a, like, a very preparatory, preparatory phase. Preparatory phase. At the moment. So there's no rush. Uh, I don't need to kill myself. So I can still get a lot of clean and jerk broadly specific kind of work capacity work in like you know i did yesterday like 115 by 7 hang miso style power cleans you know like a touch and go uh, i think zach said he calls them like hauling cleans which is a good name for them so you just kind of haul an ass with them uh today's vlog was good though uh funny enough with the 200 it's kind of i'm starting to get to weights now for 10s where i am looking to i'm starting to think about it during the day like early that morning when i make my coffee which i'm currently making most of my coffee all of my coffee from a mocha pot at the moment even though it's tiny but I'm using that. And, uh, yeah. So enjoy today's. All right. So this is my actual warm up. I do a little bit. Seems I was a douchebag for the last video. So a little bit of thoracic work. A little bit of prayer stretch. Stretching the ankles a little bit. Nothing feels particularly tight. But my thoracic could always do a bit of work. It always gets quite tight for me. So today. Also, just before we get going on my stuff. Can we just appreciate that Miso is a fucking unit. I've been trying to convince him to start a YouTube channel. And he said he'll think about it. Or he kind of wants to. But it obviously takes time. But we just appreciate that video of him doing 200 for three. He did it again today while I was recording. It is absolutely obnoxious. Speaking of those kind of hauling hang cleans that I was talking about. Uh, not the quite same numbers I was doing, but what a guy. Uh, he's uh, doing a competition in Qatar by himself with some of his friends, I think. Just to do a competition because he hasn't competed since the start of this year. Uh, I would have liked to get over for it, but obviously travel restrictions are still in play so it's too much hassle uh, we're just coming to the end of our lockdown but uh it would have been too much so maybe hopefully next year we'll get to see him popped on to 90. so just on, on doing the fives when i started these initially doing the fives i would have done fives all the way up because of the top weight i would have been getting to like a, initially would have been like 80 90 kilos so i would have done fives at 50 60 70 80 just to build that work capacity you know get the reps in as much in terms of just actual reps f a fast like from a work capacity point of view but now that it's kind of heavier and i'm going for top sets i'm nearly finished with the fives uh i just did trees on this day because i knew it wasn't so much work capacity it was a bit more a bit about something else see that little red peeking out wearing my polish training pants underneath because you could never be too warm in the shed so one to five is not too bad uh something i big thing i'm working on at the moment in my snatch is that especially for the last three months say for example so moving it backwards off the floor and in a more appropriate s bar pad i think i've mentioned this before but as well is i'm working on a much straighter extension of my body so actually getting straight up uh, sometimes you can see i can cut it a little bit short and that's why i jump back and it makes my foot movement a little bit sloppy it's better at heavier weights obviously because i can focus on it a bit better so when i'm doing higher reps it slacks off a little bit which is obviously a terrible fucking excuse but it's excuse nonetheless so here's the 115 by five so you can see I'm jumping back a small bit. And you'll see it most on this last one here where I catch it a little bit up front. Just a little bit because I jump back more than I'm used to. But normally I don't jump back at all. So something I need to clean up and keep focusing on. Here's just this 115 by 5 from the front because I'll be totally honest. It just looked a little bit nicer. Uh, shout out to Seb as well for making a fantastic pair of weightlifting straps. So weightlifting house. So here's the 115. Doesn't it look nice from this angle? So you, can you can see less of the jump backwards. But I... Just pretty happy with this. I think I'll top these out at 120 unless someone has a better suggestion. I'll stop at 120 and leave it there. Uh, I probably could have done 120 that day. I definitely could have, but I uh, wasn't too sure with the hamstring. Could feel it a little bit in the last rep, but I was not going to bitch out and do 115 by 4 because fuck that. Moved on then to some the the comfiest lift you can do, which is slightly wider than jerk grip behind the neck push press. It's just, you can use the whip. You're in a nice position and it's just nice way of getting overhead work i just did fives 110 or 100 110 and topped out at 120 it was pretty easy so one thing i found right from doing not using knee sleeves for the last what like nine ten months is i think my knee control has gotten a lot better you can see i'm actually pushing out and they're staying out at the bottom of the dip so might be something to note for yourself again we're, we're very far knee sleeves but it might be appropriate to do some work without them 
Uh, at the moment, I'm just kind of focusing on improving my lockout a little bit. Not that it's ever been a problem and not that I'm competing, but just purely for aesthetic purposes and probably from injury prevention purposes, I'd like to improve it a little bit. I have a little bit of pain and extension, like without weights. So it's something I just need to improve on before it ever comes an issue. I don't think it will, to be honest. But it's no harm to always pick things to focus on and get better at them. So I'm just focusing my lockout just for something else, a, a minor side goal. So, you know, I'm doing some like pike holds and handstand holds, uh, working my thoracic mobility a little bit. You'll see a lot of weightlifters as they, you know, after a couple of years of lifting, you just accrue a bit more muscle mass in your joints. And it's harder to, well, well hang on a second, watch that last push press. I cheat a little bit and used whip rather than my legs, which is a bad habit. But look, yeah, but I'm going to work my jerk lockout. I'll show you some stuff I'm doing as I get on. So then big set of 200 by 10, two reps of 120, one rep of 170 because we don't want to waste energy and then on to the 200. I'm going to stop talking because I want you to enjoy that 200 kilo clip for 10. It's a good clip and there's good music. <laughs> I'm trying to keep it to me